We arrive in Pustalandia on a gray and windy day, but sure we'll find sunshine. More than 50 homes in this small community outside of Havana have been decorated or inspired by the unique artwork of Jose Rodriguez Fuster. We're passing some of those buildings as we head for the main attraction, Casa Fuster, his workshop and showroom. Okay, we've reached the entrance of Casa Fuster. A friend and close associate of Jose Rodriguez Fuster has been meeting with us and giving us some background. He's telling us that just as Fuster was starting to become successful, the Soviet Union had collapsed, and therefore due to the continuing American embargo, the economic situation in Cuba had become desperate. But there it was that by the early 1990s, he had succeeded in becoming famous in Cuba and abroad. He was selling his kind of food prices. So then he was you know, conditioned to begin implementing his dream, more fun. This was 1990. Just imagine Havana with maybe eight hours per 24 hours. Food was hard to get. No, nothing to cook with. I had to cook you know, a little bit of wood in my backyard. What am I going to do? You know. Uh, because uh, should I invest in something different? Well, fortunately for the Cuban people, the economy slowly improved, and with better relations with the United States, it ought to get even better. And fortunately for Fuster, his friend, and for us, he's become a big success, and we get to see some of what he might not otherwise have accomplished. Tu destino traigo la duda, pa' que tornuda también traigo el mar. 